Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for C4H10, which is uh, butane. So here we go. Uh, butane, chemical formula is C4H10, and that's going to give us um, four carbons with four valence electrons for each carbon, plus ten hydrogens for in w with one valence electron per hydrogen which is going to be a total of 26 valence electrons and this is uh, okay so because it's um, it's an organic compound and since hydrogens cannot be central atoms that means that all the carbons are going to have to be central atoms in this compound so we can go ahead and draw out the uh, carbon chain And we have, there's the four carbons, and we have the ten hydrogens to attach, so we can go ahead and place those. And keep in mind that every carbon needs to have four bonds total, or four surrounding um, atoms, whether they're carbons or hydrogens. So we can go ahead and connect all these hydrogens with, but with single bonds, and then we'll see where, how many electrons this is. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bonds. Each bond is 2 electrons, so that's 26 electrons. So this is actually the correct shape. So notice there's 10, hi 10 hydrogens, 4 carbons, 26 electrons, so, so we're good there. So let's go ahead and check the uh, formal charges on these. Formal charges for the uh, carbon. Uh, notice each carbon has 4 bonds. So the formal charge on, on each one should be the same. So carbon brings in four valence electrons minus four bonds minus zero non-bonding electrons because they're all just bonds. There's no single electrons, which gives you a formal charge of zero for each carbon. Now we can check the formal charges on the uh, hydrogens. And each of those is just sing single bonded and that's it. So one valence electron brought in minus one bond for each, minus zero non-bonding electrons, gives you a formal charge of zero, which is exactly what, what we're looking for. So when the formal charges are zero and they sum to zero, that's exactly what you're trying to find when you're drawing Lewis structures. And okay, so um, each of the carbons, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites for each carbon, which means that it's going to be for each carbon, they are uh, sp3 hybrid or hybridized sp3 hybridized and that means that each carbon itself each carbon in the surrounding four atoms is a uh, tetrahedral shape the overall shape is is composed of multiple smaller tetrahedral shapes cuz this group here is one this group here is one, this group here is one, and so on. Okay, and um, because this has, this is a symmetric shape where there's hydrogens that that, that, that counteract each other, they, they all balance out, it's going to end up being a non-polar compound, which is typical with organic compounds such as these with the uh, butanes and the uh, the alkanes with C's and H's, carbons and hydrogens. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any special requests, send me a message. I'll try to put it in a video for you. And thanks for watching.